Okay. Independent filmmaker Haile Jirima is considered one of the leading cinematic voices of our time. His groundbreaking masterpiece, Sankofa, won critical acclaim, but it was often overlooked by distributors. Until now. Array Releasing has partnered with Jirima for a spectacular 4K restoration of Sankofa, and the film is now available in its full glory on Netflix. Take a look. The 1993 film Sankofa has been hailed a celebration of the strength of black people and was developed from 20 years of research into the untold history of black resistance. Joining us now to tell more about it is the legendary filmmaker himself, Haile Jirima. Sir, welcome to Black News tonight. It is an absolute, absolute, absolute honor to have you here with us. Uh, I love how you've said that Sankofa is not a movie about slavery but a movie about black resistance. Why is that distinction important? Well, I think that's that's what initially fascinated me in the sense that African Americans uh, from day one uh, resisted slavery. And I think by official historians, as well as by the cultural salad bar of the United States, this history has been completely suppressed and so I felt you know resistance is healing you know blues about slavery does not take anybody anywhere so I felt every young person should know the historical deeds of Africans in America uh, as history makers of their own historical chapter that mutates towards the children to equally be history makers. I have six kids. I want them to grow up thinking, knowing that Africans in America fought back and the fact that is delegated or given or outsourced to white people, including Lincoln, is a very, in, you know, enshackling historical uh, interpretation. The, the main character in Sankofa is a modern day black American woman who travels back in time to the days of slavery. Do you believe uh, that we can tap into memories? Obviously not in, in, in the literal sense, but can we go back in time? Can we go back and engage those memories? Are those memories encoded in us? Do you feel like we can really truth, truthfully or truly engage that tradition? Well, that's what I noticed personally, because I think geno genomics memory is real, but it's, that's also the suppressed part by even African Americans themselves. This whole idea of suppressing this genomic memory is part of the, you know, part of the whole historical chapter. So for me, uh, now it's become very, very prominent. Genomics, memory, trauma, etc., is never erased. It's in the, in the, you know, atom of our memory. So for me, I think that's, that's going to be more uh, researched and quantified. And I think that's the only way also you can experience some of the expressions of African Americans uh, of memory, uh, literature-wise, art-wise, in music. Black people in America have always exp ex expressed the memory. That's what kept it going. Otherwise, it would have been lost. <clears throat> I have about 30 seconds left. The word Sankofa means to go back and fetch it or go back and get it in the Twi language of the Akan. Uh, what do you hope that the people who watch this film go back and get? Well, I, I would say even if just only this, you know, the simple idea of resistance. For me, uh, I'm doing a film now, a documentary on the Maroons of the United States. That itself is a suppressed history, but it's a history that uh, the footprints are recorded from South the Carolinas, Georgia, etc., through Florida into Oklahoma, into Texas, into Mexico. I went all the way through these footprints, which I began in the when I was making Sankofa. I wanted to do a documentary film because this itself is a suppressed part of Black people's history in America, and also this has a repercussion effect to Africa. Africa's, um, I would say, mm. all of us from Africa should know. 
black people fought tooth and nail and not this passive enslaved absolutely um waiting for white folks to be freed uh entity that has been a hundred that's over absolutely 100, right well since the time of the future what, yeah wherever there's been oppression wherever there's been oppression there's been resistance and your film your work shows that thank you so much for joining me sir